DC at Union Station. I'm going to take a ride on the 2.7 mile DC streetcar. It's a fleet of six trolley cars, three of which were built in Czechoslovakia and three of which were built by United Streetcar in the USA. It's a 2.7 mile system. It's free to ride at any time, any place. As you can see, this system is not very long. Started in 2017, the previous streetcar system in Washington ended in the early 1960s. And here comes a car heading for Union Station. Station is on H Street, right above the throat of Union Station. Unfortunately, there are a lot of high fences where you can't see down below to see the station track levels. Third Street stop, take a little tour track side. We got our Union Station bound car. This is a very busy street. Two, that's one of the check built cars. They have six cars in all 101, 102, 103, and 201, 202, 203. The latter three were built by United Streetcar in the U.S. Looks like one of DC's finest nailed somebody. Here we're now further east at 5th and H Street, letter H. A lot of letter streets in Washington. But an outbound car. And an inbound car. Extremely busy street. Lots of restaurants, shops. I'm at 9th Street and 8th Street Northwest now, trying to stay on the shady side of the street, following these streetcars. It's 90 degrees here in Washington. The Union Station bound car. Cars have to stop for street lights, traffic lights. One stopped earlier because a policeman pulled over a motorist blocking the track. corner of H and 11th Street as we have an outbound car passing this imposing Methodist Church. We're at 12th Street and H now. We've got a Union Station bound car stopped at the traffic light.
further east at 15th and Benning. Yeah, we're running back west now. It's getting a little too hot to walk, and I was near the end of the line, and part of the line I felt a little nervous. But the H Street section of the line, we're on H Street now. Definitely an interesting line to rail fan the system. Heading back to Union Station. H Street is uh, kind of a neighborhood you would expect to find in a liberal city like Washington, D.C. Ethnically mixed, lots of all kinds of ethnic restaurants. Trolleys went frequently about every seven or eight minutes, and it's free. of the line. When I get back, I didn't want to get back too late and miss my train back to New York. And we're looking at this magnificent train station, Washington Union Station. It was completed in 1907. The station was controlled by then the Baltimore and Ohio and the Pennsylvania Railroads controlled Philadelphia, Baltimore and Washington Railroad. Back in 1901, the Washington Terminal Company was formed, which was controlled by the BNO and the Pennsylvania Railroad. Today, the Washington Terminal Company is controlled by Amtrak. Years ago, the Washington Terminal Railway was responsible for switching trains of the Pennsylvania Railroad, Baltimore and Ohio, Chesapeake and Ohio, Richmond, Fredericksburg and Potomac, the Southern Railway, the Atlantic Coast Line, and the Seaboard Airline. So they had a huge responsibility. This is the second busiest train station in the United States behind New York, Penn Station. You can see it's in close proximity to the U.S. Capitol building. The tracks going south out of Union Station go under the street and under the Capitol building, actually a little ways to the east, and it emerges by Virginia Avenue Tower. And this is the magnificent interior main waiting hall. Note the gold plated patchwork on the ceiling. This station is but a fragment of its former self. The pandemic really limited train service in and out of this facility. But it's starting to pick up again. It's becoming more of a beehive of activity. Stores are opening, longer hours, more trains are running, a lot of people passing through. This foyer here, loaded with two levels of shops, used to be a wide open area. In fact, this area was mangled heavily back in 1953 when the Federal had brake failure and crashed into the bumper block here. And a GG1 slid in here, sliding across the floor below and crashing through it into the baggage room below. This is right before Dwight D. Eisenhower's inauguration in 53. And people were going to the inauguration, walking over floorboards, where a dismembered GG1 lied below. It was quite a sight. This building is the headquarters for Amtrak, and here's the Amtrak ticket office located here. This station back in the 70s was turned into a visitor center to allow people to come in for the bicentennial, but it proved to be a big flop. It wasn't very popular, wasn't well maintained, and it was rededicated in 1988 with these new shops, which have been here ever since.